Mr. Watson here and in this video we're going to look at the skeletal system, the first section of the AS physical education syllabus um, for Cambridge and it, as we know it is not directly examined so this will be a short video and we're more recapping over the names of bones which will help us when required to name articulating bones at joint later um, in the course. So let's start with a quick recap of functions of the skeleton and the first one we're going to start with is shape and support. Okay, So quite a basic one, the bones of our body help give us shape and support. So it provides support for our organs, it gives muscles something to attach to and as I've mentioned it just gives our general structure. Okay. Two, we have mineral storage. So it provides a place to store calcium and phosphorus, um, and these will help with nerve transmission and metabolism. Three, we have protection. So obviously, as we know, our bones are vital for protecting our organs. Um, and an example of that is the brain is protected by the cranium, and another being the vertebral column protects the spinal cord. Okay, so nice and short here, just a quick recap. Function four would be movement. So the, the bones provide the attachment points for muscles that make the bones move. And we'll know them as origin and insertion as we move through this unit. And five, we have blood cell production. Okay, bones are lightweight because they are not solid. And in the center of the bone, we have a core of marrow and this is where we have red and white blood cells being created okay so just a quick recap of functions with a few basic points about them so now let's move on to the axial and appendicular skeleton and this might be different to what you were taught at GCSE but it's just giving two areas of where we have bones in the skeleton and they have different functions so if we focus on the black section of the skeleton there, this is known as the axial skeleton. And this has a particular function. Okay, and its function is to protect the organs. So a lot of these bones are centrally located where we'll find them vital organs. Okay, such as the brain, the heart, the lungs, the kidneys, etc. So, and the spinal cord. So a lot of the bones in this area, their function is for protection so they'll be found in the axial skeleton okay and there's some example of bones there but we will um, have a quick flick through where you'll find them on the next slide so that leaves us with the appendicular skeleton and um, and this function as you might be able to guess is for movement okay so it's almost like the limbs it's the limbs of the body that we move uh, where a lot of the synovial joints are commonly found that assist with that movement. Okay, and we have some example of bones there. Now, I'm going to have a quick flick through of where these bones are located, but remember this is a recap, so I will be going through it fairly quickly. So feel free to pause if you feel the need to sketch, etc. So let's start simple. We have the cranium, otherwise known as the skull. As we've already established, it protects the brain. Here we have the clavicle, also known as the collarbone. Okay, one of the bones that make up the shoulder girdle, along with the scapula. Okay. Our breastbone here, the, the correct name is the sternum, and this is where we'll find that our ribs attach to. Okay, through the use of cartilage and other structures. We then have the humerus. Um, so there's all the articulating bones of our shoulder there, the humerus and the scapula, which connect with the clavicle attaching to the scapula. We have the radius and the ulna. Um, and if we, some simple ways to remember that the radius is always on the thumb side, or another way would be ulna for underneath. Moving on to the hand, and we have the carpals, the metacarpals, and the small bones in the fingers are the 
phalanges, which I have skipped there um, and moved on to the femur. And there are our phalanges. Um, so the femur there, largest bone in the body in the upper leg. Okay. We have the patella, tibia, and fibula. Um, quite easy to mix them up um, with tibula and fibula, but it is tibia and fibula, and tibia is the thick shin bone right at the front of our leg. A new bone, um, or not a new bone, uh, a bone that you may not have covered at GCSE, but it is known as one of the articulating bones of our ankle joint, and that is the talus. Okay, so we have the tibia, fibula, and the talus making up our ankle joint. And then similar to the ham, we have tarsals instead of carpals, but we have metatarsals, and again, the phalanges. Okay, and back up to the center, we have the pelvis. Now, there are a range of bones um, within the pelvic girdle, but pelvis is enough for now, okay? And you might be thinking I've skipped the vertebral column, but we are going to take a closer look at that. But if you feel like you need a recap or a sketch of some of the bones here or the spelling, this is where you might want to pause. But moving on for our last slide, and that's the vertebral column. So if we're starting um, with the functions of this, it supports the head and trunk, okay, allowing us to hold our cranium up and with some range of movement there, such as rotation from the cervical vertebrae. As we said earlier, it protects the spinal cord. It also helps us maintain balance and it allows for movement. We have movement from a pivot joint, a cartilaginous joint and a gliding joint within the vertebral column and provides a point of attachment for the ribs, the pelvic girdle and muscles of the back, such as the erector of spinae. Okay, but more to come on muscles later in the course in a different video. So moving over to the structure then, and right at the top there we have the cervical vertebrae, and, and two common ones for us will be C1 and C2, which make up the atlantoaxial joint, which is our pivot joint um, with its function for rotating the head. Down into the thoracic vertebrae, further down into the lumbar region, then we have the sacrum and the coccyx making up the tailbone. Okay, so this video has just been a quick recap um, as it's not directly examined and getting some of the names of bones and their locations flowing around our minds again, ready to move forward. Okay, so thank you very much.